Hey, and welcome back to another part of this I Am Too Young to Die uh, Malicious Blades run for the Strongman Silver. My name's Game Hunter, as you can see right over here in this little title of my name. And uh, this is the third part, and you know what? Let's see if we can make this one the last. I don't want to run through it too quickly. Oh, again, we get to hear the... the uh, um, really nice audio that is this song. It's really cool. This is this is one of the songs that I occasionally hear in my in my head when I'm just kind of drifting. So I'm I don't know if I'd call myself an audiophile because I'm not horribly picky when it comes to sound quality, but when you get the right tones going. It just, it's, it's beautiful. Some music can really be beautiful. In fact, Simon's come out with a, a, some music for Hell's Arena, and he's got it broken up so that it works within the three waves. Um, currently, this doesn't really fit into Hell's Arena, um, but we might be able to see it used in another version, and, um, well, it, yeah, you can add it, but let's just keep going. There's only lost souls here on I'm Too Young to Die. So, just take care of all these guys. Yeah, pretty much every... If you ever come here with a master build... I explained... I think I explained in the tutorials how easy master builds are. Uh, melee master. Melee master. Uh, blade master... Vampire and Malicious Blades all make this ridiculously easy. I mean, I'm not dealing with the agony. Actually, do I? Let me see. Yeah, I don't even get the agony element on this difficulty. That is how kind of pathetic it is. <laughs> so, just pick that up for the pick. I don't know. Just whatever. Moving on. That was really simple, huh? Walls seem tough. This means I can't destroy them. Uh, all walls act like the border walls, in, in a sense. There's also something valuable here. Um, since it's not a vault... Actually, okay, yeah. Melee weapons can't appear in the vault. I just don't want to accidentally stumble upon Dragon Slayer in a game like this. That would be kind of... Hey, mean. Come on. A random number generator stand. We should see some arch vials, at which point I will have to be very afraid. Because they deal plasma damage, and as... I think I heard one. Yeah. So there's two power mods. There's a baron. A baron who is... kind of easy. Yeah, even the fire from the imps doesn't hurt much. Okay, I guess I didn't hear an arch file. And a fire skull to complete my collection. And now I will sacrifice it in the lava pits and and summon a magma elemental who will give me a... Uh, never mind. Any freak jackal, oh boy, something I've already collected. So let's see. Um... 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 um, um yeah. I don't know what to do with all these mods. Usually, I'm I'm always happy to be finding mods all over the place, but I don't have WizKid, and I am playing a melee build, which means that I don't really do anything with. I guess I'll build a nano fiber, just for the hex of it. Yeah. Um, let me check my assembly list. Maybe I can just start. Building some extra. Oh, I, ex I haven't built tactical boots yet. That figures. Elephant gun, piercing blade, and then grappling boots. That's another possibility. Although not in the boots I'm wearing at the moment. I'll try to build tactical boots one day. One day. Are there any? No, there aren't. But whatever, it's only gonna hurt one. So. Let's put on the tactical again. Moving on. Sense of Passage. Well, this would have to be Spider's Lair. Which 
just surprising. I need to go find a knife. Okay, there's a knife. I don't really need to find a knife. I just wanted to build the... So there's nobody over here. And with all these imps, there's probably a baron. I'm just going to take a guess. Okay, I don't want to die, so... I don't expect to die. Don't you be destroying my everything on the map. Okay, there's the Baron. And there goes my running. That dude had a phase device. I don't really care. Let's go build that piercing blade. So, weapon. Weapon. I think this is the right thing. Yeah, piercing blade. Um, can I even... I think I can show it. Hold on. Piercing blade. No, I guess I can't. Damage type is a hidden trait, after all. Um, piercing knife is... I mean, if you notice, it's... It's exactly the same damage as the power-modded combat knife. Uh, always make a piercing thing by using the combat first. Okay, cool. Um, so Spider's Lair. Yeah, that'll be... That'll be kind of fun, actually. In a weird, creepy, sort of Game Hunter-ish way. So... What was I talking about? Yes, the Piercing Blade. Um, as opposed to having a melee damage type, it has the Ignore Armor damage type. Also known, uh, in-game as the Piercing type. Uh, which completely ignores all enemy uh, damage reduction and resistances. Which, ironically, is not good against Arachnotrons, unless, of course... Because Arachnotrons actually take double melee damage. Um, I don't know... That probably means that piercing isn't going to work very well against them. So, in a way, I've actually made it... Yeah, I'm going to just uh, wear the old knife for now. <laughs> I don't get to show off piercing right now. Piercing Combat Knife is really only useful against the Angel of Death. Um, for, well, okay, maybe not obvious reasons. He has 10 armor damage reduction. So, there's that. Moving on. Oh god, it's full of spiders! This could actually hurt a lot. Um, there's no skulls around. I guess I'll just get to work. One, two, three, and then just turn on my right. These guys should all be one hit, one shots. What do I want to get? I already got the two finesse. I could do a brute. I don't think I really need the damage though, which really leaves Whiz Kid or Iron Man. Iron Man is probably a better choice, especially here. One shots all around. Okay, well, that wasn't a one-shot. And the last one. Because, again, this is I'm too young to die, and everything is just super, super easy. I'm already wearing plasteel. Okay. Well, I guess I could use this. And now, I will equip... Here's some combat knife. I mean, it's not that useful, but everything... Practically everything in the end game has some sort of armor, and this deals with it quite nicely. Obviously, when you're dealing with arachnatrons, you don't want it. It's really not bad for just about anything else. So with these captains, oh, okay, it's a baron group. Because there's a couple of groups that you can find with captains and sergeants. It can either be barons or it can be archviles. I have surprisingly not found any arch vials yet. Let's see if nope, no arch vials. Uh, he's in view. He's still in view. Let's see if I can do this intelligently. Okay. I don't think that was very intelligently because I waited a whole second. I probably should have been moving. What do we got here? Gothic armor. Who cares? 
Although the gothic armor in that one gun cutter run probably would have come in handy. Um, I could have stayed in the Archfile Revenant pack and maybe survived that. Well, you live and learn, and then you get some diapers. Just like that one commercial told us. That was several years ago. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? And if you don't, well... Look it up. Not... I know I could say it in just a second. But look it up. It, it, it'll be funny. Cool, another maze level. Which is not cool, because you don't want to be seeing these late games. When there can be really nasty nasties. Okay. Especially all those barrels. So my guess, in not seeing anything, is that there's like a Rev Vial pack. Or maybe a... A Rev... Or... Ow. Yeah, this is basically the worst. Okay. Do I have a phase device? Well, that didn't kill me, so I'm thankful for that. He's probably gonna get revived, isn't he? Hmm, how should I approach this? Let's use the gothic armor. Yeah. Let's be badass and use the gothic armor on things that are plasma damage. But what I'm using here is not the, uh, really the resistance so much as the damage reduction. Blood Skull. Wow, that did like nothing. Uh, oh. Yeah. Whatever. Instant, uh... Dang, look at this. Ridiculous. Okay, good. Um Fireproof ought to make me like completely The power of uh, not phenomenal ridiculousness. Yeah. So that was almost what I was expecting. Um It was a little different because it ended up being a combination of nasties and other nasties, but... So where's the stairs here? Yeah, okay. There we go. I'm just trying to gauge how I want to pick up the items. That's part of strategy too, kitties. Just figuring out your... game plan to the stairs. Voice a turn there. Some weird... Okay, well, weird was spelled right. Starts howling. And I need to taste blood. So, is this a giant... Yeah, this is a giant warehouse room. This late in the game. Homing phase. Uh, the weird alarm means that everything is set to hunting. So I don't even really need to move anywhere. Uh, things just come to me. Assuming they know how. Come on. Is it going to be everybody on the other side of the map again? I'm not a fan of... Everybody be on the other side of the map levels. Let's see if I can get this splash to kill everybody. Wow, that is a lot more enemies than I ever hoped to fight ever, ever. Uh, this is this is the kind of stuff that is hard to deal with. Why? I dropped it. Oh, darn it. This is not looking good at all, but uh, my ability to immediately equip things is really good. Well, at least immediately use things will come graciously in handy here. Kill the arch vial, pick up the iron man, and uh, work my way towards the other arch vial. Because I am basically invincible to... Why do you have to run? Ooh, I'm gonna be fun. I'm gonna be fun. Hold on. Oh... I guess I'm not going to be fun. I'll let the Mancubus be fun for me. Okay. Whatever. So I lost the Gothic. That was kind of stupid. But, uh... 
The good news is that I didn't die. That would have been the place to die, I think. This game. Man, virus suits last a very long time on IMTN to die, don't they? Which means I could probably survive lava pits. Yeah, lava pits is still something I can go to, which is cool. So the two levels of Iron Man give me 70 HP per 100%. Per 100%. Ah, uh, one of the lovely things about Doom is your ability to be more healthy than is humanly possible. I assume that's what the 100% is referring to. <clears throat> Sounds the place, too. Wow, they just throw me to the lions there with that lava. Good thing lava basically doesn't hurt me with all these crazy modifiers I have. Yeah, man. Punch you right in the face. Pow! Right in the kisser. Where did I use that one before? That was, um... I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Ugh, it's gonna bother me. I know I used it for something. Um... You know, in this game, of course. Um... Can I use those mods at all for anything? I don't know. Whatever. Probably gonna be more arch files or a mancubus. That works too. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up this nuke too. I'm gonna try to go for something that I haven't really shown off before because it's a bit spoilery, but whatever. You guys deserve it. Especially with all that crap I've been giving you with the losses. And so people who know what a full victory is, um, you know, cool stuff there. I just don't see myself dying at this point. I would have to be sucktastic indeed to lose with this kind of stuff. Come on, there we go. I could use the homing, but... Well, hold on. Let's make use of this, the fact that I've been carrying it around all this time. Was that even worth it? Yeah, that was worth it. There's probably better ways to go about this, but... I have some time. Okay. Moving on to the lava pits. Piercing combat knife. Okay, cool. Damn it, it's hot in here. Ah, yes. The OG again. Makes all the difference. And on I'm Too Young to Die, we only have to deal with sergeants. Which, for some people, might be worse than Hell Knights, but for me, this is perfectly fine. for me. Because I have that, you know, extra shrapnel resistance on everything. Crap, etc. I'm not really looking where I'm going, either. Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Of course, I kind of ignored some stuff before. There's a red armor. He's probably carrying it. I hear the lava elemental already. I haven't noticed going back into my videos that sometimes the, the stuff doesn't really come out from the very edges uh, of my vision. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why it's not being picked up. Maybe it's... Maybe it has to do with the way that the stereo mix works, but... Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing these crazy intuition things... Uh, not the skill, mind you. I never get the skill. Um, then it, it would be because y you can't hear it even though I can. And why am I going around the lava when I have it, the Enviro suit on? Agility mod. Now if I can just find a steel boots, I can make attack boots. Because I definitely won't need. Although, frankly, you know, the regenerating part's the only extra bit that's any good about it. Level 11. Iron Man. Was he using stuff? Yeah, he used a small med pack. I bet the Baron was using a med pack too. Archvile. Don't feel like it at the moment. Oh, he's already in view. Great. 
along with a uh, Moncubus, of whom isn't my major concern. What was that? Oh, did he just... I don't... No, okay, there's another one. There's the other one. Really? Oh, come on, guys. Okay, this I'm a little worried about. Darn it, lost my tactical armor. That wasn't very nice game. I won't be using it against the Cyber Demon, but still. Still! Really now? Was that necessary? Are there any armors on this map now? Okay, well, I will just equip the, uh... Ballistic Shield, then. What was this again? Was that an agility mod? Sitting here? Yeah, it was an agility mod. There's protective boots. Who gives a crap about those? And I haven't gotten anything, so... I haven't gotten any whiz kits. Imagine that! Tech build where you don't get a whiz kit. Something wrong about that. So, um... Hmm. Where are the stairs again? There they are. Okay. So, stair as... Leading down here. So, this would be the big cyber demon fight, and... It just doesn't seem right to do it with melee. Which kind of ruins the, the awesome of it. It's a really cool fight, especially in 994, and I just don't want to spoil it like this. So, I am going to do... Something even more interesting. Hmm. What happens when you kill him and you don't sacrifice yourself? You ingenious son of a gun! You're as smart as hell itself! Because, you know, all those enemies are obviously intelligent beings. Um. But there's something wrong. You sense a menace, a threat so evil it kills your mind! You suddenly die. No, no, you don't actually suddenly die. Was not all evil destroyed? So, uh, yeah. It looks like the lava element lasts on a... on a uh, duration basis rather than an a per-action basis. Um, no, that, that doesn't sound right at all. It's a time basis. Because I'm moving pretty fast, and it lasted longer than those, those eight turns I did it for last time. So... There are more stairs after the Phobos Arena. Leading me to the Hell Fortress. And the final showdown music that Simon has for this place. Which is pretty awesome. But, you know, it doesn't last very long, and the level itself doesn't last very long, so... Um, it did it. I guess Fireproof is best against this dude. Oh, whatever. I'll be getting into melee range eventually, and then I'll be like, What's going on, brother? So there's, there he is. And who is he? Why, it's John Carmack, of course. <laughs> this is the true evil behind the invasion. This is the true mastermind of hell. Kill him, for he knows not the meaning of mercy. Kill him now! So yeah, we, we'll do that. Reload the rocket launcher, I'll probably get hit. Nope. Oh. I guess he doesn't do melee anymore. Jeez, at this rate, he's gonna die without doing this my favorite thing he does. Come on, do, do that thing you do. There we go. Okay. That's, that's all I wanted to show, was that he can... He can summon stuff. Congratulations, you defeated John Carmack. Ooh, cool. Hit Warrant Officer. Which means I can do Angel of Humanity whenever I want. Which I won't, because I already got Thomas's medal last version, and I'll get it sometime, but that's hardly something to do in a, uh, in a playthrough. And I also got the Moncubus skill rank for melee whipping some Mancubus. 
John Carmack is dead. No more evil will ever fall upon this world. Your damned soul rests knowing that no more hellish forces will threaten Earth. Or will they? This will be revealed in Doom RL 2 Hell on Earth. I can only imagine when this uh, screen was first showed, and it's probably been years, and probably haven't heard anything about uh, about Doom RL 2. Although it's in the works, at the very least, the engine um, that will be creating uh, the engine for Doom RL 2 is is definitely under construction. Well, these are some cool numbers. One hour, eleven minutes, and one second, and then seven, seven, seven for my generations. The Imp Sergeant Major Technician. Yeah, they don't actually say anything about killing uh, Carmack, other than the fact that you get to level 26 here. So I picked up the Malicious Knives Cross, just just like I uh, just like I planned. Got my Explorer and my Conqueror badges, the Medal of Prejudice for 100% kill. Brick bronze for doing the wall. Strongman silver, just like I said, and heroic bronze since I finally got enough medals for that. So that's that. MMB the Malicious Blades. Yeah, Malicious Blades is pretty cool, although the lack of Zerk can make it truly difficult in particular areas. As you saw, I was even on I'm Too Young to Die, I was having some some rough moments there near the end. So. Finally got another destroy the cyber demon. That's cool. This this will actually say three, and then one was smart outsmarted hell itself. So that's cool. And still, compared to my gun cutter run, this thing totally doesn't really go anywhere. It's kind of funny. Right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um I guess I don't know what I'm going to be doing next time, but somebody asked me to do Pacifist Run. And that would be a very different change of pace, but I'll see. We'll see. This is only three videos, so I'll have to think of something pretty, pretty soon. Well, like I said, thanks for watching, and take care.